Madrid proved they are the real deal by dumping out Champions League holder Man City. For the first time ever, Real Madrid picked up an away win against Man City as the 14th time European champions won on penalties to book their place in a fourth successive UEFA Champions League semi-final and dump the defending champion out. Perhaps, owing to the pressure of knowing a spot in the last four was on the line, a catchy start at the Etihad did come as a slight surprise after the first leg in the Bonabu began in such a frantic circumstances. It was Man City who drew first blood on the occasion, but Real Madrid were quickest out of the blocks in East Manchester, noising ahead inside the 15 minutes when at the second time of action, Rodrigo fired past Ederson from inside the six-yard box. Man City's response was inches away from being perfect though, as Erling Haaland leap highest in the area but could only watch on with angers as his header bounced away off the crossbar. That was as close as Man City came to finding a level before the break, with a couple of fearsome Kevin De Bruyne strikers signaling their intent, but by no means threatening Real Madrid's resistance. Pep Guardiola's side looked much more dangerous after halftime and twice tested and Julunin within 10 minutes of the restart. But the Ukrainian had the answers to the questions Jack Grealish and Phil Foden asked of him. The Etihad faithfully were growing uneasy with Real Madrid's gamesmanship. And although the stop-start nature of the game certainly wasn't pleasing on the eye, it was exactly what the Spanish giants needed to take sitting out of the proceedings. Man City pressure was insensate at times. After introducing the electric Jeremy Doku, it was his cross that forced an error out of Anthony Rodriguez, whose miscued clearance at the near post was punished in emphatic fashion by De Bruyne, who slammed the loose ball high into the roof of the net. The Belgian ought to have won for Man City in normal time when he fired Manuel Akanji's cut back over from 12 yard. All night, Real Madrid had been binding their time waiting for that one big chance that would likely fall their way. When it did in extra time, it simply fell to the wrong man as an unmarked Rodiga ripped over from a tight angle. That meant penalties for the first time in a UEFA Champions League quarterfinal in 19 years. It was ultimately Real Madrid prevailed with learning saving from Bernardo Silva and Matteo Kovacsi before Rodriga converted what was untimely the winning penalty to set up a semi-final date with Bayern and move his side one step closer to a 15 European Champions League. Let us know what you think in the comment box how Man City fans will be feeling at this moment as they are not going to be the winner for this year. Moving on, we'll be looking at how crucial Kimmich keeps Bayern Munich in silver reckoning. Bayern Munich kept their 2023 trophy hopes alive with a 1-0 leg win against Asna, sending them to the UEFA Champions League semi-finals and denying the Gunners a ticket to the last four for the first time in 15 years. Asna kept possession nicely under the fog of Bayern supporters, pretty much by technique display, but they could ill afford clouded judgment when dealing with Harry Kane, who prodded wide with just a few minutes played. The England skipper required just one goal to eclipse Wayne Rooney as the all-time top scorer against the Gunners and that strike looked increasingly likely to be on the cards as Bayern began to find their rhythm. A brilliant one-touch move saw Ben White deflect Nosua Mazara's cross just past the post before the German musical forced a diving save out of David Raya with a long-range drive. The visitors had a bright spark in Gabriel Martinel, however, 
the Brazilian was key as play started to shift to the other end. Manuel Noir had to improve to stop Martin Odega's efforts, while the legendary stopper showed excellent initiative, as always, to come out and collect on more than one occasion. Those chances were merely a warm-up for the second half, which began with Leon Gozeka looping a header against the woodwork before Gorezo smashed against the same post on the follow-up. The host continued to push and their efforts played dividends as the Alliance Arena erupted just past the hour mark. Gorezo refused to give up on Lerosene's cross, sending it back into the area where Joshua Kimi came steaming into a bullet his head past Raya. Perhaps it's an intent to replicate their back-to-back 5-1 wins against Asna as this ground that kept Bayern searching for more and they easily could have stretched their lead through a same moment later. Odega attempt was stopped at the near post by Nue as Asna searched desperately for a level, but some strike defending rendered their efforts not quite enough. Any disappointment from losing out on the Bundesliga title at the weekend we have put aside at the final whistle with just one more round now standing between Bayern and a trip to Wembley in June. It might be of a little consolation to ask Nas fan, but at least Mikel Atete can now switch focus on the Premier League with hopes of a first title in 20 years still very much alive. Man of the match in this game is gimmick from Bayern. Let us know in the comment section what you think about this video. Like this video, share this video and give a comment. Thank you for watching Charlie and TV and see you 